kids when they're using these products, the majority of them aren't necessarily using them because of the flavors. Uh, anybody's going to choose a flavor that sounds better than the rest, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're not going to use a tobacco flavor. Uh, these kids are using them to get a buzz or to get high. So my name is Rick Smead, um, owner of Brickhouse Vapors in Longview in Washington. I would assume over the last five, five and a half years or whatever it is, we've had in the thousands of customers who have quit smoking. We've seen people where it's happened overnight and they've thrown their cigarettes away. We've seen customers where it's taken a little bit longer. But overall, I would say like 90% success rate. Um, and I think that's probably even a little bit low. The majority of people who transitioned from smoking to this do end up quitting. The smell of a cigarette, the taste of a cigarette, all that stuff, you're trying to get away from all of it. If you can completely move to a different flavor, it's gonna make it that much easier to disengage with tobacco in general. This coming out of nowhere, uh, a complete flavor ban out of nowhere when there's clear evidence showing that THC cartridges or black market THC cartridges and the vitamin E isotate is the reason for all of the lung illnesses. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. It, tell, it tells me and everybody, you know, I tell about this, it, there's an ulterior motive to us. There's obviously a motive that isn't being told to us because when we talk to the governor, when we talk to any of the politicians, they don't care what we have to say. There's so many other ways we can go about this rather than taking a really, really good alternative to cigarettes away from adults. I don't believe in taking anything away, any, anything away for, I believe in letting people choose what they wanna do regardless. But this is a really special case because it's something that's been proven by so many different studies, so many different people to be a lot healthier than cigarettes. And for a governor or a government in general to look at something where it's very, very difficult to even have question that it's as healthy or as not healthy as cigarettes, to take that away from people, it's a disservice to everybody, to, to all adults out there. And it really makes you wonder what the real reasoning is behind this.